The iconic lead of Pee-wee's Playhouse, Paul Rubens, passed away at the age of 70 after privately living with cancer for several years. He was preceded in death by many other actors from the beloved show. These are the Playhouse legends you may not know passed away. During the first season of Pee-wee's Playhouse, Mrs. Steve was one of the more frequent guests, invited or otherwise, at Pee-wee Herman's swanky pad. Mrs. Steve was essentially a snoop and gossip, often sauntering up to the playhouse with bad vibes and a floral dress. I was not snooping! I just happened to be passing by your door." The character was played by actress Shirley Stoller, who enjoyed a decades-long career in Hollywood. Her first major appearance on screen came in the movie The Honeymoon Killers. She later raised eyebrows as a Nazi prison commandant in Seven Beauties, a role that garnered her major media attention by way of The New York Times. Other credits included Charlie's Angels, Kojak, Desperately Seeking Susan, and Law and & Order. Stoller died on February 17, 1999, a matter of weeks before her 70th birthday, of heart failure after a lengthy illness. The king of cartoons was a fixture at the Playhouse, descending upon Pee-wee's place with a film projector or antique television in tow every episode. His mission, besides ruling over Cartoonland, was to share a classic cartoon with the Playhouse gang and all of the children at home. King Cartoon, as he was originally called, was actually played by two different black actors, Gilbert Lewis and William Marshall. Lewis was the first king of cartoons, having filled the role during the first season of Pee-wee's Playhouse. He worked steadily before and after his stint on Playhouse, appearing in films like Candyman and Gordon's War. He died in 2015 at the age of 79. Marshall, meanwhile, may be the best-remembered king, wearing the cartoon crown for the show's final four seasons. He was well-known long before his Pee-wee days, having played the title role in the iconic exploitation film Blackula, as well as its sequel, Scream Blackula Scream. He died in 2003 at the age of 78. Phil Hartman may be best known for his iconic work on Saturday Night Live, but he actually got his start at the Groundlings alongside Paul Rubens. From there, he jumped feet-first into Pee-wee's wild world as Captain Carl, a rough-and-tumble sea captain in Rubin's original stage production of The Pee-wee Herman Show. Hartman also made an appearance as a reporter and co-wrote Rubin's breakout film effort, the Tim Burton-directed Pee-wee's Big Adventure, before reprising his role as Carl for the first season of Playhouse. From there, his career exploded on SNL, where he came to be known for impersonating the likes of notable celebrities like Charlton Heston and creating characters like the unfrozen caveman lawyer. Hartman was a fixture on the show for eight seasons from 1986 to 1994 and regularly appeared on beloved shows like News Radio and The Simpsons. Sadly, Hartman was murdered by his wife, Bryn Omdahl, in 1998 when he was just 49. Omdahl died by suicide soon after confessing to the crime. The couple had been married since 1987 and had two children together. The history of Pee-wee's Playhouse can't be written without mentioning John Paragon. The actor and comedian was a frequent collaborator of Paul Rubens, and their working relationship can be traced back to the inception of the Pee-wee Herman character in the late 70s, when they were both members of the Groundlings comedy group. Pee-wee's Playhouse saw Paragon play Jombie the Genie, a disembodied head. He appeared in most episodes to grant a wish to Pee-wee, even though the results didn't always go according to plan. Jombie even had a fun catchphrase. Mecca lecca high, mecca hiney ho. Elsewhere, Paragon voiced Terry the Pterodactyl, a dinosaur who was afraid of thunderstorms. Sadly, Paragon died in April 2021 at the age of 66, but the news didn't become public knowledge until months after it occurred. Furthermore, the autopsy reports revealed that heart disease stemming from alcohol abuse was the cause of death. Pee-wee's Playhouse wouldn't exist without Paul Rubens, the comedian who portrayed Pee-wee Herman on the beloved children's show and beyond. Rubens played the childlike, fun-loving Playhouse owner throughout the series' entire run and eventually took the character everywhere from Hollywood to world wrestling entertainment. Do you mind if I call you P? Call me anything you like. Pee-wee is an undeniable icon of popular culture, and his legacy will undoubtedly live on forever. In fact, Rubens' dedication to the character led many people to believe that there was no difference between the real man and his fictional persona. As he told Interview Magazine, "...I spent a lot of time and energy making sure that people thought Pee-wee was a real person. My billing was always Pee-wee Herman as himself." 
Ruben's performance as Pee Wee Herman made him a beloved figure in the eyes of many people, which is why the comedian's fandom was heartbroken to learn about his death on July 30th, 2023. Rubens died aged 70 after a multi-year battle with cancer, which he kept hidden from the public until the sad news came to light.